What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome my current subscribers and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading. Have your side and everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and um, um, leave the rest. Sorry. <laughs> It's a free uh, general collective reading for the sign of Capricorn for mid-May of 2022. This could resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, and hidden energy for charts. It's a free general oracle card reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, I just heard get one more, so I'm going to. I usually only take two to three of these uh, tea leaves, but I'll take one more. Um, just saying, just saying. Uh, like I said, don't forget the basics. This is a free general collective reading, so it's very important to only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Please don't force it, okay, if it don't fit. Okay, so um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers, I think, right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It truly really helps uh, support one of, a single mom, one of her income streams. So I truly, truly, truly appreciate it very much from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you think anyone else could, would like this channel, please feel free to share my channel very publicly and on social media or word of mouth. I'd very much appreciate it. I did receive one spiritual download as I was meditating on your mid-May of 2022's um, Oracle Card Reading Energy. And the uh, download I received was uh, particular funding for a corporate entity location is about to be pulled back soon. Uh, it is about to shop a Capricorn. You plug it uh, through many series of chain events. Through many series of chain events. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Particular funding at a uh, particular corporate entity location is about to be pulled back soon. Through many series of chain events, it's about to shock the Capricorn. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Caps. Some kind of funding energy. Um, I feel one of you guys either works at a corporate entity location or you work for a corporate and you're helping pull it back. Or um, you are connected to someone that works at this corporate ent entity or connected to someone that works in corporate about to pull it back at this location. However that resonates in one's life, corporate entity location, uh, corporate entity location energy. I didn't hear specifically what corporate entity this is. Um, you have to plug it in your own life, how it resonates, if it does resonate. So um, you plug in it, how it resonates. But I heard through many series of chain of events, it's about to be pulled back soon. Some kind of funding at a particular corporate entity location. So it's in a corporation and it's a particular location in a corporation. Um, but the funding is about to be pulled back for some reason um, through many through many series of chain events. I heard it's about to shock you. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have with Sonic Capricorn. Or for some Capricorns, you could you could um, patronize. You could patronize this corporate entity location or could have patronized them in the past. Um, how that resonates in one's life. Capricorn, but definite corporate entity location energy funding about to be pulled back through many series uh, series of chain events about to shock the hell out of you. Spirit messages you have signed. Antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. Mm. I hope everybody's doing well. Just saying, just saying. All right. And thanks, everybody, for all the well wishes about my hand. I just want to say that while I'm shuffling out. Everybody, all the text and well wishes and communication asking about my hand. Thanks so much about um, you guys. I truly, truly, truly appreciate that. It is getting better. Thank you so much. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Capricorn.
A Capricorn is about to actually reveal some very important information on the past. They they were not going to, but through many series of chain events, they're about to be forced to. One Capricorn was part of a huge cover-up. They're about to reveal it. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard chaos was coming, and we got the chaos card. Just saying. Um, so there's chaos coming in at least one Capricorn's life. I feel you either could be specifically in this chaos, help cause the chaos, or trying to quelch the chaos, however that resonates in one's life, or on the sidelines of the chaos. But definitely some kind of chaos energy definitely coming in a uh, Capricorn's life soon, whether you caused it, help cause it, trying to quelch it, um, or you were on the sidelines, however that resonates um, in one Capricorn's life. But um, one of you guys was part of a cover-up, it sounds like in the past, um, but through many series of chain events, I heard you're about to be forced to reveal the information, whether you want to or not. Who, whatever Capricorn that is for, I don't feel you want to reveal it. But through some kind of shocking series of chain events, you're going to have to reveal it whether you want to or not. It sounds like they might have some other kind of evidential evidence, like video camera evidence or messages or eyewitness or something. I don't know. You plug in and how it resonates. But, um... I heard you're going to have to be, uh, you're going to have to reveal it whether you want to or not, but you are, if that resonates for you, you were part of a cover-up in the past. It sounds like you were part of helping a cover-up, but you're going to have to reveal it whether you want to or not, if that resonates for you. Number 241, 38 or 42 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 241, 38 or 42. It could be possible uh, ages of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, possible, yeah, 241, 38, 42. A particular Capricorn's child, 30 and below, is about to shock the hell out of you. They're about to tell you they're about to move locations far. You do not want them to go. But they're going to do it. Oh my goodness. So you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, I feel you're an older Capricorn. Um, I, I feel you have an adult child is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys that resonates for. But you plug it in how it resonates. I do. I feel adult child energy because I heard 30 or below. Um, I heard your adult, um, your 30 or below child. So adult 30 or below child. Um, I'm feeling 18 to 30 energy here. Heard they're about to shock the hell out of you and tell, tell you they're about to move far locations. So I think far away from their city, town, province, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Heard you don't want them to go, but they're going to do it anyways. So it sounds like they have a mind of their own. They think for themselves and they're going to do it whether you want them to do it or not. Um, it is an adult child I'm feeling. They're definitely 30 or below. So I'm feeling 18 to 30 energy. It could be a masculine or feminine energy. Um, whoever this child is of yours, have one. You could be dealing with um, another earth sign or a um, air sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, Manhattan, energy for charts, if you are. You have antelope spirit, life is speeding up, nightingale spirit, love is all around, handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important, fair woman, dealings of relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex, Heart, love, deep affection and caring, retreat and chaos. Life is speeding up. Things are about to start going very, very, very fast in one particular Capricorn's life. For some, workflow fast. For some, for some workflow fast. For some, a particular... Report to a compliance hotline is going to be very significant in a Capricorn's life. For some, it is moving of people you did not expect. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So, um, workflow energy, speeding up energy, speed, 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 eight of wands energy. This resonates for you. For some of you guys, it's workflow, workplace energy. For some, it is, um, uh, people moving that you didn't expect they were going to move. It, is, it sounds like they're going to move physical locations like 
far away, like out of city, state, city, state, province, town, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, that it doesn't feel like it's you moving here. It's somebody you're connected to. And for at least one of you guys, it's one of your children, 30 or below, uh, adult children, I'm feeling, child or children. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. We've got two situations in here. One, it's a workflow energy. And um, I feel it could be physical workplace just speeding up. Things getting speedier around the workplace. And But for one of you guys, a significant compliance hotline report is about to become very significant in your life. So I don't know if you were going to make this compliance hotline report or somebody you're connected to did, and then it affects your work workflow or workspace, however that resonates. Nightingale spirit, love is all around. A particular fire sign has a lot, a lot, a lot of heart. A lot. You really overlooked this in the past, but through many shocking series of chain of events, you're about to get a huge wake-up call. About to really, really back down from this person. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in. How it resonates. So fire sign energy strong. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. It could be a masculine or femme. Aries Leo Sag. They could have Aries Leo Sag in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham energy through charts. Uh, but I heard there's some kind of fire sign in your life. It could be personal, professional, community based, et cetera, et cetera. But definite fire sign energy. Um, I heard you have overlooked in the past that they have a lot of heart. Um, I think maybe you were unemotional about, uh, to them or unsympathetic or something of that nature. Um, it's like you didn't want to see the truth and reality of things, which they have a lot of heart. Um, and probably a lot to give to their world and community, but it's like you didn't want to see it. It's like you had Plasdale blinders on, if that resonates. But I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, you're about to see it, whether you want to see it or not. So love is all around. I think it's maybe this fire sign's getting a lot of love, um, or they're about to get a lot of love. Um, and I don't think you had, I don't think you like this fire sign, to be honest. I don't think you like this fire sign. I'm just being straight up. I don't think you like them. But maybe your viewpoint may change um, through these shocking series of chain of events. And I think it has something to do with this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Mask, or Fem, Aries, Leo, Sag. I don't know if they're going to stand up to you or stand up to a situation or maybe both or something. But it's like you have overlooked them and overlooked them. And maybe you've down looked them, looked down upon them in some shape, form, or fashion. But, um, buddy, you're about to see it. You are about to see the heart in this fire sign. Um, I don't think you wanted to see it in the past, um, but I think it's about to be because other people are about to see it because we have love is all around. So I think other people see the heart in this fire sign or they are about to see it and it's about to change your viewpoint or at least make you sit, sit back for a minute and think, oh, why did I treat this person this way? Possibly, um, possibly. For some, you could be dealing with the air sign as well. Because we have air sign energy. If you are, they can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and there's some moon rising, Venus, North, and Midham, Jupiter charts. If you are. Handshake, a meeting with a stranger could be important. An unexpected visitor out of town. Corporate entity energy for one Capricorn. Very important. For one Capricorn, this is a unexpected person out of town surveying, surveying energy. For some is two plus. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So for one of you guys, it's one or two plus pe some two plus people from out of town. I heard surveying energy. So the unexpected meeting with a person, um, this person, it's a stranger. I don't think you've ever met them before. For some of you, some of you guys, it's one person. For some, it's two plus people. But I heard it's a sur it's somebody with some kind of surveying energy. So I mean, they're coming to survey something. 
Um, it could be home related. It could be company related because we're pulling out a lot of corporate and company energy in here. It could be personal. It could be professional. I mean, they could be surveying land. They could be surveying um, a community, the boundaries and the community, you know, surveying the land, surveying, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It could be a uh, home inspection, possibly for some. Um, for some, it could be uh, work-related survey energy, um, corporate entity sur survey energy. It could be um, other entity survey energy, but some kind of survey energy. It is a person out of town coming into your location to do it. Um, and I don't think you've ever met them before because it says a stranger. Meeting with a stranger could be important. So I feel this could go positive or negative. For some of you guys, it's one person. For some, it's two plus people. That's situation one. Situation two is the meeting, unexpected meeting with someone out of town, a stranger. I think you've never met them before. And it is someone in your corporate entity energy. So you work for a corporation in some shape, form, or fashion, if that resonates for you for situation two. And um, for some, it's one person. For some, it's two plus people. Okay, I heard for some it's one person, for some it's two plus people. So the corporate entity energy, it's for some it's one person, for some it's two plus people as well. So we've got survey energy for situation one, corporate entity energy for situation two. Both of these situations, they're both coming in from out of town to come in. Um, however that resonates, whether it's um, personal and professional for the survey or um, professional, I'm feeling for the corporate entity energy. However that resonates. Um, how that resonates. Fair woman, dealings a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. This particular person is about to become very, very significant in Capricorn's life. Very significant. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. This is not someone you've ever met before. For some, this person will end up offering a fire sign a new position. You will be shocked. Okay, wow. A lot of people you've never met before in here, I'll tell you that, coming up in your energetic space. That this resonates for you. So this person... If this resonates for you, this message resonates for you. It's someone you've never met before. It's someone you have never met before. I feel they have blonde, gray, or white hair. It could be a femme energy or masculine that takes on heavy femme because everybody takes on masculine and femme energy, I'm feeling. So it could be masculine or femme energy. Uh, but you're pulling this fire sign in very strong, whoever this person is to you. But um, this person, you're about to meet them soon is what it sounds like, this person here. Um, and, um, and it sounds like for at least one of you guys, a fire sign I heard is going to get offered a new position. It sounds like a work position or something of that nature or a business related type scenario, uh, probably more on the work, um, scope, but you plug in and how it resonates. Um, I heard it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. So it's not you. It might be this fire sign you were pulling in earlier in the reading or not, but, um, you plug it in how it resonates, but you're definitely going to meet this person for sure. It is a new person in your energetic space, but it sounds like this fire sign is going to meet them too. And I heard the fire sign is going to get, um, at least one of you guys, a fire sign in your energy space is going to get offered a new position by them. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So I think you have underestimated this fire sign that we were speaking about in here earlier. I think you've completely underestimated them. And I think you just didn't want to believe the good in this person or the potential in this person or the wonderful qualities about this person. But it seems like this person's about to see the good in this person, the wonderful qualities in this person, um, the potential in this person, the very, very positive, strong qualities in this person. And they're about to make them a job offer. And I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. So it might give you a perspective change on this uh, fire sign in the situation, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. A significant meeting at a bar 
with a friend soon is about to feel significant for a Capricorn. For some, it's someone that's been in your life. For some, it, for some, it is someone of your past you grew up with. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so if this resonates for you, um, a meeting, a significant meeting at a bar is about to become very significant for at least one of you guys. For some, it is someone that's currently been in your life in your energetic space. So, um, but it's about to become significant. I think they're the same sex as you because we have the teapot, deep friendship of the same sex card. Um, I definitely think they're the same sex as you, um, but they have been in your energetic space for a while, if this resonates. Um, but some kind of significant meeting at a bar with this person, if this resonates for you, upcoming in the energetic space for you, if this resonates. For the other scenario, it's um, some kind of significant meeting at a bar, but it's, I feel it's somebody still of your same sex, but it is someone I don't feel it's been in your energetic space. I feel they uh, are someone of your past energetic space. I heard someone you grew up with. Um, but I think you have fond memories of them, of them because we have deep friendship card here. Um, I think it's a friend of the long past. You just haven't seen them in a while and maybe you're going to catch up. There's some kind of significant meeting at a bar. It sounds like upcoming if that message resonates with you with that person. But I definitely feel they are of the same sex as you if that resonates for you. Heart, love, deep, love, deep affection, and caring. A situation a Capricorn did not care about in the past was very, 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 very cold to in the past. They are about to get a huge, huge, huge reality check and really start warming up to a particular situation. For some Capricorns, it's because they're about to go through the same exact situation. Some Capricorns are about to go through hard, hard, hard custody battles. Hard. But there is evidence of hidden of a hidden camera in someone else's home this Capricorn was a part of. It is an uphill battle here in this court battle, and you know this. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oof. So at least one of you guys is about to go through a court battle. Um, sounds like custody battle which uh, regarding child or children. Um, I feel it's your child or children, but there was some kind of hidden camera energy in someone's house in the past, I heard. Um, but you were somehow, uh, if this message resonates with you, Caps, and you were involved with it, um, it wasn't your home, it doesn't sound like. It sounds like it was somebody else's home this hidden camera was implanted in. But somehow you got drugged in this court battle by, it sounds like an ex or exes or exes family members, how that resonates. Um, they want custody of child or children, but it's because you were involved with the hidden camera energy. It sounds like you didn't stand up for this person that had the hidden camera in their home. And this family uh, or this ex or exes knows this. So they're going to use this as evidence in the court of law against you is what it sounds like. So I heard you were very unsympathetic and very cold towards a certain situation in the past. But I heard you're about to go through the same exact thing and you're going to start basically warming up to it soon. So I think... It might be the hidden camera energy. Maybe somebody implants a hidden camera in your house soon, or you just have to recount, may, uh, or maybe you were the one that viewed and voyeured through somebody through a hidden camera in the past, and now you have to face the music in the court of law why you didn't help that person. Go help them get the hidden camera out of your home, and now your children are basically on the chopping block in the court of law. Somebody's trying to take them away from you, and you know it's an uphill battle because you didn't help this person. Maybe this person of the, uh, that you were cold and unsympathetic to, maybe they got their children taken away. Um, I'm, that's what I'm feeling for some of you guys. So you're about to start warming up to the situation because I feel for a lot of you guys, you're not, you're not going to win it. Most certainly not going to win it. Way too much evidence. Okay, I heard most certainly not going to win it. Way too much evidence. So, yeah, I heard you're most certainly not going to win it. There's way too much evidence. So, yeah, I think you're going to warm up to the situation because you're about to realize what was done was extremely wrong. And now you're about to get the same crap done to you except by different people. They're using evidence against you all because you didn't. Well, in all fairness, you should have helped that person in the past if this resonates for you. But you didn't. And now I feel in that person 
that of your past that you were cold and unsympathetic to, I feel they got their kids taken away is what I'm feeling. And you didn't help. You didn't help. You didn't help the situation. You foyered at them through a hidden camera all day long, but you wouldn't contact them and say, hey, there's a hidden camera in your home. Let me help you. And I feel they have child or children. So you plug it in how it resonates. Retreat. Well, let's, let me see if I hear anything else. New love coming for one. Okay, I heard new love coming for one. So congrats to whoever that's for. Love, deep affection, and caring. So I think this is the new love energy coming for you, Capricorn. Um, new love energy coming for at least one of you guys. So hopefully it's true, true love and not fake ass, fake fakers in love. You plug in and how it resonates. Retreat. The Smoky Mountains are about to become significant for one Capricorn. And a vacation a Capricorn wanted to take, they're not going to be able to take it this time. It's going to upset them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard the Smoky Mountains is about to become significant for one Caps. And um, a vacation a Capricorn wanted to take. It sounds like upcoming in the energetic space. I'm thinking May or June-ish. Um, you wanted to take, you're not going to be able to take. So in this aspect, the retreat is the, um, sorry, the retreat is the um, vacation energy. Um, whether um, Smoky Mountain energy, whether you're going to Smoky Mountains or somebody you're connected to is, I feel on a vacation or the vacation that you wanted to take, uh, it sounds like in the May or June upcoming time area here, um, but you're not going to be able to take it. You plug it in how it resonates. Chaos. Significant video footage. Significant video footage coming. Some as evidence in the court of law regarding hidden camera energy. For some workplace energy, you're, go, you're about to realize a lot of people have been lying. A lot. Okay. For some, okay. So video camera footage evidence, if this resonates for you. Video camera footage evidence. Somebody, one of you guys, Capricorns, is about to be in a, you either currently are or you're about to be in a custody battle over your child or children regarding hidden camera energy in somebody else's house in the past. And I'm just being full thrilled. If that resonates for anybody, um, hopefully just one of you guys. But for somebody else, there's some kind of significant video camera footage about to become significant in a workplace situation soon. I heard you're about to, you Capricorn, are about to realize a lot of people are lying. So I think this is about to cause chaos and conflict because I think they have been lying to you in the 3D everyday world about person, people, place, family or situation regarding, but, and this is a workplace situation, but there's about, sounds like about to be some very significant video camera footage, either pulled or something in either your work, your workplace or somebody you're connected to's workplace. And you're, um, it's about to be evident that I heard a lot of people are lying. So they lie to you about a situation, but the video camera footage evidence is about to say everything is what it sounds like. And that is specifically in a workplace situation, which is going to cause chaos and conflict energy because these people lied to you, is what I'm feeling. And for one, it's the significant video camera footage evidence of some kind of hidden camera energy in that poor family's home of the past. Um, that I feel um, these your children's other side family or children's ex or exes is about to use that against you which is going to cause chaos and conflict in your life in a court situation for one, at least one. In a particular Capricorn, a huge gambler is about to lose a huge, huge, huge bet. Huge. Will put you in debt. 
Very large, large, large amount of money here. Oh, my Lord. Uh, if that resonates for you, you're a huge, huge, huge gambler. Um, and I heard you're about to lose a huge, huge, huge bet. So a huge bet. I, I mean, I heard a large, large, large amount of money. I heard it's going to end up putting you in severe debt. So that could be the chaos and conflict with your financial status, your financial health, creditors, um, people coming after you for their money. It could be bookie energy coming after you. Um, you're a, you're a, you bring in the income or you're a trust fund baby if that, if that resonates. But you also like to spend it too. You're not a saver. You like to gamble. And buddy, you're about to lose a shit ton if that resonates, which is going to cause chaos and conflict. I feel bookie energy might be coming after your ass or the mafia or creditors or maybe a mixture of both if that resonates. Woo wee. But definite gambling addiction energy here. And just to let her, the gambler, ad, ad, gambler addict know, there is a gambling hotline. If you feel you have a gambling problem, just let you know there's a gambling hotline. If you feel you need some help, because whoever this is for, I feel you need some help for gambling addiction. And that's just the truth. A Pisces is about to become very, very significant in a Capricorn's life. Very significant. For one negative way, negative way. One of these Pisces will end up in jail. You were covering up for this person at first, but you are about to realize you need to cover yourself. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. And Piscean energy strong as well for at least one of you guys. It could be masculine or feminine Piscean. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midham, and Jupiter charts. Heard you were once covering up for this person, but soon you're about to realize you need to basically cover your, uh, cover your own self. You need to cover your own self. So basically you need to put covering up for this person and cover your own bases and your own self. I heard uh, one of these Pisceans will end up in jail soon. I think it's the one you were covering up for in the past, but they will end up in jail soon. So I think maybe your perspective is going to change and maybe you're going to just release all the information you know on this person and just let, let it be what it is. Because whoever this Piscean is, it sounds like they deserve to be in jail. So that's going to be chaos and conflict, but it sounds like you're going to transmute the energy onto this Piscean um, and kind of release everything you know to get yourself away from the chaos and conflict in that particular situation. So I heard you were covering up for this person in the past, but you're not going to cover up for them anymore. So you're going to release it, quit covering for them and release it. And for at least one of them, let them go to jail is what it sounds like. It sounds like you were trying hard to keep them out of jail or trying hard to keep information covered and hidden, but it sounds like it's about to come out whether you want it to or not, so you're just going to release it. It's what it sounds like. But you plug it in how it resonates. It could be a masculine or femme Pisces. They could have Pisces in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or sun, moon, Jupiter, 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 so that resonates for you. I'm going to pull one kipper, and then I'm going to close it. Spirit messages you have. Okay. Pull and labor upright. And then courtship upright, number 4, 38 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 38 uh, double deuces confirmation in here, just to let you know, 38 twice. So I definitely think you're either 38 or you're dealing with somebody that's 38 or the number 38 is very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, if that resonates for you, cats. Um, courtship, I heard new love was coming for at least one of you guys, so I feel you might get into a relationship with this person. Um with the new love energy for some. I'll see if I hear anything else on it. That coupled with this is what I'm feeling. Someone, through many shocking series of chain events, someone you're connected to is about to get their kids back soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Heard someone, uh, through many shocking series of chain events, someone you're connected to is about to get their kids back soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. Well, that's wonderful. Um, I don't know if you want th this person to get their kids back or you don't. I mean, to me, it could go either way. Either you want them to get their kids back or you don't. But you are connected to someone 
in your life, energetic space, it sounds like in some shape, form, or fashion, whoever this person is, whether you want them to get their kids back soon or not, and I heard they're about to get their kids back soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. I'm sure that person will be very happy. Um, they either have lost custody or they have joint custody or they have visit or visitation rights, however that resonates. But it sounds like they had full custody in the past um, and they, they didn't um, and it switched. Maybe they're in custody battle right now, possibly for some, or they lost all rights, however that resonates. Total labor upright. A particular employee in your company is about to reveal some very important information to a very important person in corporate soon. It's going to lead to many series of shame events. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a very important person in your company, Capricorn, so I feel... You work in this company, uh, whatever company this is, um, sounds like they're about to call corporate. Um, does it sound like it's you about to call corporate? It sounds like they are. And I've had a lot of corporate compliance um, calling energy in here. So I think it's somebody you're connected to here. If this resonates to, for you, it's not you calling, it's somebody you're connected to. But I heard they're about to reveal some very important information to corporate soon. It's going to create many series of chain of events. So in this aspect, pull and labor is the company, corporate energy here. Um, the company y'all all work at together. Y'all all pull and labor together at. I uh, heard it's not you about to reveal this information. It's somebody else in your company. So you plug it in how it resonates. I think for some that might be what leads this Pisces to jail for some. Possibly. But you plug it in how it resonates. Because you're dealing with a Piscean energy very, very, very strong. Very strong. And a child uh, 30 or below adult child that's about to move, um, whether you want them to or not. Courtship. Someone is about to get into a relationship soon. For some, it's your child. For some, it is um, a feminine energy with emperor status and empress status. You never thought this would happen. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so for some of you guys, um, your child is about to get into a relationship soon. Uh, I think it's about to shock you. So courtship, this is, um, for some, you're about to find new love soon. Whether you get into a relationship with them or not, that's your free will and their free will. Free will. But definitely new love energy for you, for some. Whether you get into an actual physical relationship with them or not, I don't know, only you know your story to anybody else. But for some of you guys, your child is about to get into a relationship soon. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, this courtship is your child energy. It could be an adult child or it can be a child, a minor. How that resonates. Um, I feel for some it's going to shock you, but you plug it in how it resonates. And for some, it's somebody, a feminine energy you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard um, it's an emperor status with the empress status. So it's equal matches, emperor and empress equal matches. But it is a femme energy connected to you, and it's not you, Capricorn. I heard it's going to shock you. I heard you never thought it was going to happen. So courtship upright, that's the relationship energy of your child about to get into a relationship, whether they're an adult or minor. Or this femme energy connected to you that is empress status, and then it sounds like she's about to get into a relationship with the emperor status, and I heard you never thought that would happen. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. A Virgo feminine is about to lose her job. For some, you work with her. It is about to shock you. Okay. I heard a Virgo femme is about to lose her job. For some, um, you work with this person and you um, it's going to shock you. So some kind of Virgo feminine energy. They could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hammer Jupiter charts. A lot of workplace energy in here, a lot of corporate energy, a lot of relationships, a lot of moving unexpectedly, um, and some vacations. Some you're going to, either you're going to the Smokies or somebody you're connected to is going to the Smokies, and some vacations you're not going to be able to take, you thought you're going to be able to take. So you plug it in how it resonates, but 
some kind of Virgo femme energy. Um, you work with her in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, whoever this person is, I heard they're about to lose their job through many series of chain events. Um, I heard it's going to shock you. It's going to shock you. So that could be some of the chaos energy with the pull and labor as well. Chaos coming in a workplace situation for one Capricorn, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. And I feel it's going to make you want to retreat is what I feel. But uh, you plug it in how it resonates. Secret emails. A Capricorn is about to find of a Taurus's. It is about to blow your lid. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. I heard secret emails. Uh, uh, you, Capricorn, are about to find of a Taurus's. Um, I heard it's about to blow your lid. So you plug it in. How it resonates. Oh, my goodness. For some, it is your husband. For some, it is your girlfriend. For some, it is a co-worker. For some, it is someone on your ball team. Oh, my God. How are you finding secret emails of somebody on your ball team? I, I, you're obviously snooping, snooping hard if this resonates for you, or you're about to be snooping hard, or you've hacked into somebody's email account. Um, that's why I stay the hell away from people, man. I don't want people hacking and spying and snooping. Dear God. So if this resonates for you, there's several categories here. For some, it's your husband, for um, caps. For some, it's your husband. For some, it's your girlfriend. For some, it is someone on your ball team, if that resonates for you. I feel it could be a parent on the ball team or a physical player. You plug it in how it resonates. But some kind of secret email energy you're about to find of a Taurus. Um, it sounds like the Taurus's emails or emails a Taurus sent somebody else. How that resonates, I heard it's going to about to blow your lid. So it's going to piss you off. But I feel this secret email energy this Taurus has sent, it sounds like somebody else you're about to find. It's either your husband, Caps, your girlfriend, or somebody on your ball team, whether it's a parent or a player. How that resonates. All right, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. And namaste.